All right, guys, back in the shop. Uh, starting on a new project today, but first, a couple updates. Uh, first, on that guy. Uh, hey, you remember Sid was supposed to start his heartworm injections? Uh, they decided he was doing pretty good. His heart and lungs still sounded pretty healthy. So they left him on the uh, pills, which is a slow kill for another month. So he'll go back in a couple weeks and uh, start the injections. And that'll be a fast kill. They're doing it this way. It just kind of draws it out longer, makes it a little easier on his body. So he's just been hanging out, getting fat. Uh, he put on five pounds at his first appointment. And the next update is on the 63. I finished all the body work, blended the patina back in. If you remember, I replaced the uh, bottom half of that door Bottom half of this fender, the front piece on this fender, that whole bottom I replaced, and same thing, bottom of this fender, bottom of this door, and then uh, also that wheel opening in the back, I replaced all that. Uh, not extremely happy with this fender, I'm going to work on it some more. But I didn't do a video on blending this because I really didn't know what I was doing and didn't feel comfortable showing other people what to do. But uh, it actually came out really good. I'm happy with it. Wish I would have made a video for you guys now, but I didn't. So take it or leave it. But that's where we're at with everything. And like I said, we got a new project, so Let's get started. So here's what we got, guys. It's kind of uh, a two projects we're going to make into one. Start with this. Uh, some of you may have seen this, may remember this body. Uh, 71 Super Beetle. It was sitting on a body dropped S10 frame. Kind of abandon that project for now. I'll set uh, another body on that chassis at some point. But for now, I'm going to use this body. Set it on. The rail buggy, uh, my plan is I want to build something uh, just really versatile. Uh, first go around, it is going to be kind of a Baja bug lifted on 31s. I had these tires laying around. They are uh, 31 1050s. So we'll be mounting those up, getting them bolting on the car. Picked up some old school wagon wheels for them and adapters uh so yeah first round on this car will be lifted kind of a baja style bug but if you know volkswagens you know how how versatile how easy they are to work on so i want to build something where in an afternoon i can change it from a lifted baja bug to uh can lower it back down throw different wheels of tires on it uh pull the front clip and doors and just kind of have like a drift buggy. Uh, just kind of an all around versatile vehicle that does a lot of different things. So uh, I guess show you around this bug a little bit. I'm not an expert on Volkswagens, but I know my way around them. Uh, this one, it has the uh, link pin front end. Uh, 1600 dual port, uh, three rib bus transmission, the uh, trailing arms have al already been plated and boxed in, they're good to go, uh, Weber carb, stinger pipe, I don't know if this engine has any internal work done, but it sounds pretty healthy, so it may. Uh, story on this thing, it... It was a running driving bug a couple weeks ago and the guy kind of caveman stomped on the clutch and it just stayed down. Not sure exactly what happened. I don't know if uh, he pushed the throw up bearing through the clutch plate or busted the clips off of it or it's a possibility these input shafts are uh, tapered. They started off big, dropped down a little smaller. Uh, he may have pushed the clutch the throw up bearing out far enough that it got hung up on that lip 
But uh, hey, either way, we'll be working on that today, figuring out that problem, as well as getting those wheels and tires mounted up and possibly start on this body. Uh, I'm hoping the top of this cage will all fit under the body. I know uh, these bars it may be a little too wide, so may have to cut these bars out and rework them as well as uh, the lower bars there. But that's kind of the plan. Uh, nothing's thought out, so we're just going to go with it. But like I said, we'll uh, eh. start with addressing this clutch. If you know Volkswagens, you know how simple they are. We can probably have this engine out in 20 minutes. It's literally probably five wires, throttle cable, four bell housing bolts, and that thing drops right out. On a buggy, on a rail buggy, you also have to remove the lower part of this cage but that's no big deal. But before I do that, I'm going to pull the starter off and just look inside, see if I can see what's going on. Uh, like I said, maybe that throw up bearings just hung up on that edge and I can reach in there with a screwdriver or something and uh, get it back in place. If not, we'll be dropping the engine, but that's kind of the plan. So here we go. Hey guys, got that engine uh, drop down. I'll show you what I found on it. All it was is these uh, eh, clips that hold the throw up bearing onto the fork. Uh, they somehow popped off there. Not sure if it bent that fork or not, but I'll get this unjammed. Uh, I think I have new clips. So I'll throw some new clips on there, uh, make sure everything's how it should be. The clutch actually looks like a new clutch, so I'm not going to worry about changing that. But you see how easy it is to drop these engines. That's all the tools I used, and half of those weren't even uh, necessary. I think you could do this with a pair of vice grips, honestly. And like I said, it usually takes probably 20 minutes to drop one of these engines out. Uh, eh. One of those exhaust pipes was frozen into the collector. So I fought with that for an extra 10 minutes, but even at that half an hour and that thing's out of there. Okay, so got that bearing back in. Uh, I end up having some uh, new clips and springs. Not sure exactly why that thing came apart. Uh, these little wire clips hold it to that fork. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the clutch was out of adjustment and it allowed that bearing to come too far out or something. Uh, I'm really not sure. But either way, it's in there. It seems to be working good. So uh, we're going to get this engine back up in there and bolt it up.
All right, guys, got it all back together. Uh, I got the engine fired up, made sure it was good to go. I unplugged the coil and cranked it in gear, out of gear, tested the clutch, made sure it was good. So hopefully that was just a fluke thing, but right now it's good to go. I'm not going to test it much more inside. Uh, I end up running over the Impala and I'd cry, but yeah, seems good to go. So we're going to jump onto the next thing, which is uh, we'll get it jacked up, get these adapters on, get the tires mounted onto these sweet wagon wheels. I'm excited to see these wheels and tires on here. So here we go. So here's what I love about the idea of this build is that it could go from something like that to something like this in an afternoon. Okay, so I got them on there. I love how it looks. Uh, I'll have to trim those bars back a little bit. And I don't have the uh, right front lug nuts. So the front's up on jack stands, but that's right about where it's gonna sit. Uh, I guess next, I'm going to jump on this body uh, get as much weight removed as I can before we start test fitting. I uh, probably cut this front end off somewhere in there, get the hood off, get these doors off, uh, get the trunk lid off. I'll uh, get this back glass out to start with. Uh, this is kind of what I have in mind where I'm going to cut it, but I'll wait till it's over top the uh, chassis before I get too crazy with it. I know a bunch of this is gonna have to get cut out for those uh, shock towers. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut that bar out. These ones, I'm not real sure if the body's gonna fit in between them. They may flare out a little too much. So those may have to get cut out. Uh, this bar is probably, it's going to get reworked for sure. Uh, I don't know how much of it I'm going to have to cut out today just to get this body test fit. But uh, I'm hoping all this upper structure uh, should fit inside the car. Not a whole lot of issues. Uh, these front bars, I'm going to make work with the body. However, I have to. I don't care if I have to cut holes in the hood for them to poke through. Uh, same with the rear. I think with uh, the back window removed, 
I shouldn't have to cut into the body for these. And uh, the fuel tank will stick out right out of the uh, back window there. So a little bit of cutting to do on the uh, chassis and the body. Get those stupid lights off. And then I get that thing as light as possible and start test fitting it. Okay, so got it all stripped out. Uh, not much left of it, which is what we're after. Uh, still not real sure how I'm going to get it on there by myself. Uh, I guess I'll probably try to swing this rear end around and kind of straddle it and walk it right over top and see how it fits. And I know this wheelbase on this buggy, uh, it's like 89 inches. Whereas on a bug, uh, I think it's like 94 and a half. So it's five, six inches different. So uh, pretty much however that cage fits inside here best is going to determine kind of where the wheels are at. I really don't care where they fall. Uh, but that's kind of the plan. I'll get it on there and cut accordingly. Okay, so here's where we're at with it. Uh, it actually fits a little better than I thought it was going to as far as the cage and everything's concerned. Uh, eh. As you can see, it still needs to drop down a ton. So in order to do that, we'll have to cut, I don't even know, five, six inches off the bottom here. So I can get it sitting down uh, as far as it needs to. The front is actually sitting pretty nice the whole thing needs uh slid back in order to do that i gotta uh, gotta cut that rear vent out it was hitting the exhaust so i kind of roughly marked where i'm gonna cut this back that's just kind of a preliminary starting point uh, it may end up cut way higher and uh, i left the factory windshield in it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to use it or if I was gonna have to use the uh, plexiglass one. But I think I can get away with using the uh, factory windshield. But yeah, that's where I'll start is cutting off the bottoms. Uh, cut off that back piece, get it sitting down a little farther and slid back. And uh, we'll see where we're at then. Okay, so we're getting closer. Uh, I'm just sitting here debating a few things. Uh, the first one being, uh, I think I'm gonna cut the windshield frame down a little bit uh, so I can get the nose of this car sitting lower. I cut uh, six inches off the bottom there and it's sitting about even with the uh, bottom of that rail there, that, the whole pan and I haven't cut anything off the front yet, but you can tell if I cut six inches off, uh, it's not gonna be anywhere close to sitting level with the pan. So I think I have to shorten up this window frame a little bit, which 
it'd be pretty easy. Just cut a chunk out of there and sleeve it, weld it back together. So I think I'm gonna do that. On the rear, I made a few lines, uh, debating on where to cut that. And also debating on if I should cut it, uh, that C pillar even shorter. I'm thinking I will, just cause this wheelbase is so short. It looks kind of goofy, that front wheel or that rear wheel being so far up. So my thinking is uh, the less amount of overhang on the rear, maybe the better. And then this, I can resheet metal all that. I'm not too concerned with that, but I think I will trim uh, that pillar back a little bit, lift this body up and get that uh, window frame cut down a little bit. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at with it. So I guess I'll hack it up a little bit more. Okay, so some more cutting, hacking. Uh, I definitely think I do like it better uh, with the back trimmed off there. This area is kind of funky, but that was already all I cut out from when it was on the body drop chassis. But that's all just sheet metal, so I can rework that, uh, do something with that corner. But got the window frame uh, it's just cut out. I didn't shorten it yet, but the front ends drop down a lot now. You can see that A pillar, how it sits uh, below the pan now. And I'm, I'm liking it. It's getting closer to what I want. But like I said, definitely gonna need some sheet metal work back here and uh, up front, fill in a lot of those gaps that were already cut out. That's all easy stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try to get these doors mounted just so I can kinda get the whole picture and uh, probably call it a night after that. I think I'm gonna be able to get away with these bars. I may have to cut out some of the inner door but uh, this bar is definitely gonna have to go. And then uh, I said, I'll test fit it. I think I can get away with uh, leaving those other bars in there. Even if I have to uh, cut up the inner door skin, but I just wanna see the doors on there. So here we go. Okay, so check it out. I uh, did a little more fine tuning. And I am in love with how this thing's starting to look. Still a long ways to go. Uh, still a lot of trimming, cutting, uh, getting things fitting right. Like I said, these are kind of goofy areas, but that's all just sheet metal. That's easy to uh, make look right. But I ended up sliding the body uh, forward a little bit. 
I was hesitant to do that from the beginning because of this right here. To me, that looks kind of goofy with the cage uh, so far back off the windshield, but it was the only way to get this front end uh, down as low as I wanted. And uh, did you guys know if you cut the bottom six inches off a car, it's uh, basically a rust-free car. So that's a bonus. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at with it. This is a, a super hood. I have a standard hood. I may test fit, see if I like it any better. Uh, they're narrower, almost come to a point rather than that flat bottom. But other than that, like I said, I'm loving it. Uh, that door, it went on. I uh, didn't really have to cut anything out of the, the inside of the door. Just cut the uh, bottom six inches off of it to get it sitting where we wanted, which also cut off the bottom hinge, but eventually these doors are going to be uh, pinned anyways, so you can take them on and, on and off as you want. Uh, same with the hood. And uh, you can see on this side, there's still plenty of room to get in and out, even with uh, the body move forward that little bit. Another goofy thing on this that I'm going to love is the filler neck. It's going to be right in the middle of the roof there. I love goofy, hacked up stuff like that. All right, guys, that's it for this time. Uh, definitely a good day's work. Had that engine in and out, uh, fixed the clutch, mounted up some tires, bolted those wheels on, and uh, hacked up that body. Got it sitting pretty much where it's going to end up at. So I, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go in, get a shower, and I'll see you next time.